Hello everyone, we will start by solving the question 2 at Excel GCE 2013 exam. Given that fx equal ln x, x larger than 0, sketch on separate axes the graphs of y equal fx, y equal absolute value of x, y equal minus fx minus 4. Show on each diagram the point where the graph meets on cross the x axis, in each case, state the equation on the asymptote. As long as sketch tells us, we can specify some points to draw the graph. We start with y equal ln x. We choose an answer for x randomly in order to get the answer for y through the calculator. 1x equal 1, y is 0. And one and when x equal two, y equal zero point sixty nine, and when x equal four, the y equal one point thirty nine. When x equal eight, y equal two point zero seven. When x equal zero point five, y equal minus zero point sixty nine. And when x equal zero point three, y equal minus one point two. As we notice here, as if we have a vertical asymptote, when x tends to 0 plus, the answer limit ln x equal minus infinity. This means that we have a vertical asymptote and the equation of this asymptote is x equal 0. Now we connect the points to get the graph. Now we come to y equal absolute value ln x. When x equal 1, y equal 0. When x equal 2, y equal 0 0.69. When x equal 4, y equal 1.39. When x equal 7, y equal 1.95. When x equal 0 0.5, y equal 0 0.69. When x equal 0 0.3, y equal 1.2. And also we have limit absolute value for ln x when x tends to 0 plus equal plus infinity this means that x equals 0 vertical asymptote now we come to y equal minus ln x minus 4 we do the same thing we choose points for a randomly like this we also have limit for minus ln x minus 4 when x tends to 4 uh, plus equal plus infinity this means that x equal 4 vertical asymptote and now we connect the points together to get the graph